ظلمت سنة من أحيا الظلم إلى أن اشتكت قدمه الضر من غرامي وشد من سهاب أحشاءه وأطوى تحت الحجارة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأخذ الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد In the fourth hadith المرأة بن عازم رضي الله تعالى عنهما describes رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ربي مرضوع Marbu'a here, another word in another hadith, Rabba'a. He was not very tall, nor very short. Not square, but not uh, extremely tall. The word is Marbu'a. What indicates also this is his broad shoulders. It comes later on. Ba'idha ma bayna al-mankibayn. In one reading, Bu'aida ma bayna al-mankibayn. The distance between his shoulders is broad. Describing his hair, Azim al-Jumma. His hair was dense. Was not light, was dense. Al-Jumma. It reaches to his earlobes when describing him. He was wearing, at the time, Al-Bara ibn Azim described him, he was wearing, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, a red suit. Hulla is a suit of two parts, Izar and Dika, are called Hulla in the Arabic language. Of the same color, they are called Hulla. Wearing red is permitted, is permitted on certain conditions. That is to say, it doesn't resemble women. In the Hanafi Majority. He says, Mara Ibn Shay al Matu Ahsan bin have never seen anything more beautiful or fairer than him. The same hadith is repeated by Ibra ibn Azim. He adds, Nabi Akram bin Basir wa bin Tawil, explaining the word Marbu'a or Rab'a. He wasn't extremely tall nor short. Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Adds more details in describing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. He describes his uh, arms, his hands. His hands were big, shetan of big size. The same also for his feet. This is a praiseworthy quality in men, not in women. Shetna, shetan adim, al kafayn wal qadabayn. His head was big, also. It is a praiseworthy quality and an indication of uh, extreme intelligence. Dhaqm al karadis al karadis ruqus al Kurdus is the top of uh, bones, such as the top of the shoulders, and the top of the elbows, for example, and the knees. So his uh, bones were not showing together softly but strongly, and the angles of his body were well firmed and uh, detailed. طويل المسربة المسربة خط الشعر من اللبة إلى السربة. The line of hair from below, from his chest to his navel. This is al masruba We have it in another hadith. The Prophet ﷺ's skin was not hairy. So it wasn't full of hair. He, was, he had slight hair on his uh, shoulders from the back and on his chest with a beautiful line which beautified his upper body knowing from uh, the top of his chest 
Till his name. This is Al Masumah, Tawil Al Masumah, Tawil, long line of hair. إذا مشى تكفأ تكفؤا كأنما يحط من صور. When he walks, he leans forward. This is an indication of humbleness. People who walk with their chests pulled in front of them, leaning backwards, they show arrogance. Things of that type. People like this. Rather. Rather, leaning forward, so his shoulders are straight with his chest. And also it's a way of uh, showing seriousness when walking. There are various alternatives for the word takaffa, the meaning of the word takaffa. Uh, the most uh, common meaning is that he would be leaning forward. Ka'annama, the explanation comes after it. كأنما ينحط من الصباح as though he's walking down here. If you're walking down here, you would be, you cannot avoid leaning forward. Also, سيدنا علي رضي الله تعالى عنه says, لم أرى قبله ولا بعده مثله. I haven't seen anyone before him or after him like him. صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم. Not before him, not after him. There won't be till the end of time anyone similar or close to the beauty of Rasulullah. His beauty was perfected as a miracle. Exactly as he was perfected, protected from sins, as his message was perfect, his body was perfect. Hadith number seven Ali was perfect. Describes Rasulullah and that's also extra information. He says, لم يكن بالطويل الممغط أو الممغط ولا بالقصير المتردد. الطويل الممغط المتناهي في الطول. He wasn't extremely tall because being extremely tall also is not a praiseworthy quality. The best qualities are the medium, the middle of everything between the two extremes, between the two ends. There is an explanation here related from Al Asma'i, Abdul Malik al Qurayb, Imam al Muha, a famous uh, scholar of uh, the Arabic language. He says, When someone uses uh, arrows and bows, using a bow uh, to throw arrows, then they would. Uh, uh, extend their hands to the maximum. This is the meaning of extending your hands to the maximum in order to uh, practice archery. When you're holding the bow in your hand and the uh, arrow in the other hand, it takes a lot of strength, a lot of force to send an arrow to a far distance. 